class, receiving students and teachers. Thank you, you may sit down. All right, class, receiving students. Now, if, if I want to measure, all right, if I want to measure this point, this point here from this, this point here to this point, what am I measuring? Class, receiving students, if I want to measure this point here to this point, let's say point A to point B, all right? What am I measuring? Class, receiving students, or if I am measuring, if I want to measure the table, okay? If I want to measure the table, the surface of the table, if I want to measure this point here to that point over there, all right? Point A to point B, what am I measuring? Class? Very good, okay, receiving students? We are measuring the length of something. Now, who can tell us what is length? Okay, receiving students, in your own words, what is length? So you said, let's look at one example here, from here to here. This book here, from here, this point to this point, or using the table from that point to this point, what is length? Or you can have the chair, all right, a chair, one point to another point, and you talk about length. What is length? Class, receiving students, in your own words, what is length? I had somebody mentioning it, but not loud enough. Okay, who wants to try? Okay, Vanessa, thank you. How long something is. Okay, very good. Thank you, Vanessa. Vanessa said the length is how long something is. Okay, receiving students? Now, if you, here we measure the length, okay, we're measuring the length of the book, the length of the table, the surface of the table. That's how long, how long something is, okay? All right, our, before we go on with our topic for today's lesson class, when you are measuring length, receiving students, when you are measuring length, we use different units of length when we measure length. For example, when we measure the length of an exercise book, we measure the length of the surface of the table, or anything, the height, the height, okay, height of a person, all right? We use different types of length to measure different things, okay? Now, who can tell me, who can give, who can come up to the board and write one type of unit of length that you use to measure the length, to measure length. Okay, class? Receiving students, receiving students, I'd like you to go up to the board. Up on the board, receiving teachers, you should write units of length and have the students to go up to the board and write a unit of length that you use to measure length. Okay, class? Would like to come up to the board. Let's have Lorraine. Okay, Lorraine. We'll have Lorraine.
when you are measuring land, what unit of land do you use when you measure land? Okay, good, Lorraine. Right, any more? Rudolph? Quickly. Okay. Harold? Please invite on the other side to at the top. Any more? Okay, thank you. Any more? All right, let's have a look. Okay, so our friends have already given some of the units, units of land that we use to measure land. Now, remember, these are some of the units that we use to measure in our everyday, huh, everyday, everyday living, okay? So for example, centimeters, yes. We use centimeters to measure the length, all right? Maybe of an exercise book, or you have the length of the table. Meters, okay, remember when you're also writing your units, okay, you have to be, you have to be, all right, accurate when you're writing the symbol or the abbreviation. So this big M becomes a? small m ah, of meter. Okay, class? All right, you can use meter. This is millimeters, okay, small letter, m. Two small letters, millimeters, and kilometer. Small letter, k, kilometer. All right. So, This one. Okay. But the correct class, receiving students, the correct um, abbreviation for these units, okay, the small letter, millimeters, small letter M, M, small letter M for meter, kilometer, small letter K and M. So when you use, when you measure length, all right, you use some of these units, all right, units of land. But these are the common ones that are used. We use them every day, okay? All right, good. And our topic for today, class, is on units of land. All right, receiving students. Our topic for today is on units of land. And we are going to be looking at some of these units that we used to we used to measure, okay? When you are, we are using land or when we are measuring land. All right. Once again, looking at the units, different units of land. Okay. Remember, these are the common units of land that is used every day. Okay. Who can tell me from? from these units of land, which is the smallest, smallest unit of land, okay? Which is the smallest unit of land? 
So remember, these are the common ones that we use, okay? Smallest unit of length. When you use, when you, you use that smallest unit of length to measure anything that is small or tiny, okay? Receiving students. Sorry. Manu. Millimeter. Okay, very good, Manu. Millimeters, all right? So from the common, these common units of length that is used, that we use, millimeters is the smallest. Uh, you can use that unit to measure anything that is small or, let's say, really tiny. What about the longest or, let's say, a distance? If you want to measure a distance, Receiving students, or let me put it this way. We want to measure the distance of a place to another place. What unit of measurement do you use? Class? Kilometers. Kilometers. Very good. Okay. Now that's good. All right. Let's, let's uh, move on with our learning activity, class. Now I want you to tell us Tell the class receiving students which unit would be used, which unit would be used to measure the A height of the door. Okay? If you look at the door, all right, receiving students, if you can look at your door in the classroom, at the back of your classroom or in front of your classroom, and you guess what unit of measurement would be best used for the height of the door. From any of these common units here. Ken? Meter. Okay, thank you, Ken. Very good. You agree with Ken, everyone? All right. Meters, sir. We, if you look at the height of the door, I think meters would be best appropriate to measure the height or the length huh, of the door. You would use meters. Okay, good. Um, what about the next one? The length of the exercise book. Length of the exercise book. Receiving students, look at one of your exercise book and look at the length. What unit would be used, best used for the length of your exercise book? Stephanie? Centimeter. Centimeters, you others agree? Yes. yes, okay. Thank you, Samantha. Stephanie? Uh, centimeters. Okay, good. Now, next one. What about the distance of lay to put must be? What unit of measurement would be best used to measure the distance of lay to put must be? Class, receiving students? Kilometers. Okay, kilometers. Ah, all right, very good. Okay, now you can continue with your activity. I have one, two, three, four. Four exercises, so you can do, just do that quickly.
a drawing pin D and the last one is a distance Okay, have you finished? Okay, good. Because we'll correct our exercise now. All right. Receiving students. Okay, for A, the correct unit of measurement for A, height of a bucket. Okay, class. What would you use? When you want to measure the height of a bucket, what would you use? What unit of measurement would you use? Angela? Ana Lolo? Centimeters. Okay. Ana Lolo says centimeters, yes? All right. Okay, it's according to the size. Receiving students, according to the size, if it was a medium, if you have a medium-sized bucket, all right, medium-sized bucket would be in centimeters, all right? The correct unit would be in centimeters, but if you're talking about a very long or big bucket, it would be in meters, but otherwise, the appropriate would be centimeters. Appropriate unit of measurement for bucket Height of a bucket, if you're looking at a normal size, would be centimeters. Okay, good. B, length of a pencil case. 
Length of a pencil case. Rudolph. Length of a pencil case. Centimeter. Okay, thank you, Rudolph. To be centimeters. Good. All right, receiving students. C. Length of the drawing pin. Tyron. Length of that small drawing pin. Millimeter. Okay, thank you, Tyron. Millimeters. Very good. And lastly, Marjorie. The distance of Medang to Manus. Kilometer. Okay, very good. Thank you. Kilometers. All right. Straight hands up if you got four out of four. Okay, excellent. Very good. Hands down. Receiving students, hands up if you got three out of four. One mistake. Okay, very good. Two out of four. Okay, looks like everyone got all correct. Okay, thank you, class. All right, once again, looking at your summary, your different units of land. Okay, remember your different units of land. You have millimeters, centimeter, kilometer, meter. And don't forget the abbreviations. All right, on the side. The correct. And those cor uh, small letters. Okay, receiving teachers, in your next lesson, this is what you are going to draw up for your activity. All right, receiving teachers. For your activity, this is what you are going to use. So we'd like you to prepare this table, prepare this table for your activity in your next lesson. Okay, with that class, our key phrase for today's lesson, units of land. And in our next lesson, we're going to be looking at this topic, estimate and measure. So with that class, thank you very much for your participation in today's lesson.